Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to talk. We hope that you're staying safe and well during this time. Okay, so for our, for our class today, we'll be talking about cloth face coverings during COVID. You'll be with your teachers, Dinara, Mark, and Raj. So our agenda for today, we're gonna to do a short reading passage called How to Wear a Cloth Face Covering. Then we're gonna do some reading comprehension questions. Then we're gonna move on to our grammar for today's class. Today we'll be talking about the word should. Then at the end, we're gonna do some pronunciation. Today we're gonna to talk about the s sound and the z sound. So our reading passage for today is called How to Wear a Cloth Face Covering. Pause the video and take a few minutes to read what's on your screen. Got it? Let's take a look at it together. Cloth face coverings should fit snugly but comfortably against the side of the face, should be secured with ties or ear loops, include multiple layers of fabric, allow for breathing without restriction, and be able to be laundered and machine dried without damage or change to shape. Okay, now that we've done the reading, we have some questions for you to answer. We want you to look at all of these sentences and decide, is it a true sentence or a false sentence based on the reading that you just read? So for number one, cloth face coverings should not fit or be comfortable. Do you think this is true or false? Write down your answer on a separate sheet of paper and then complete two through five. We'll give you two minutes to complete this. Okay, here are the answers for those questions. Double check to make sure that you got all of them correct. If you didn't, you can go back to the reading and try again. Okay, you guys, grammar should. We use should to give advice or recommendations. To give advice or recommendations, we add a verb, which is in the base form to should. For example, to stay safe and healthy, we should practice social distancing. Should plus the base form of the verb practice. We should wash our hands with soap and warm water more often. Should plus wash, the base form of the verb. We should make our own masks. Should and the base form of the verb make. Now that we've looked at the grammar, we're gonna move on to some sentence correction. On your screen, you'll see five sentences. Each sentence has one error. Find the error in the following sentences and fix it. Let's look at an example. Cloth face coverings showed fit snugly, but comfortably. There's a spelling error here. Let's see if we can find it together. The answer is cloth face coverings should fit snugly, but comfortably. The error is should is misspelled. It should be spelled S-H-O-U-L-D. Very nice. Let's do the next five on our own. On a separate sheet of paper, write down each sentence and find the one error. Ready? Good luck. Very good job, everyone. Let's take a look at the answers. Did you get them all right? If you didn't, that's okay. Let's go back and try again. Now the pronunciation, the plural noun ending S. The plural noun ending S sometimes is pronounced S. 
and sometimes it's pronounced z. We pronounce it s after voiceless consonants. How do we know that they're voiceless? Okay, try this. Touch your throat and try these sounds. Is anything happening in your throat? Nothing, right? Now say s. Again, nothing. That's why after these sounds, we pronounce that ending s. Like in shops, books, cats, laughs. The plural noun ending s is pronounced s after voiced consonants. Again, try this. Touch your throat and pronounce these sounds. B, b, g, g, m, mm, m. Mm. It vibrates, right? Okay, now try the vowels. Uh, uh, a, a, again, it vibrates. Try z, it vibrates, doesn't it? That's why we pronounce the ending z after these sounds, okay? Uh, examples, jobs, jobs, dogs, dogs, rooms, rooms, and let's try the last one, villas, villas. Isn't that interesting? Now you guys, let's practice. So please listen to me and check the sound that you hear. S or Z at the end of, the of these plural nouns. Ready? Okay, listen carefully. Loops, loops. Ties, ties. Layers, layers, fabrics, fabrics, coverings, coverings, hands, hands. Okay. Was it difficult or easy? Now let's check the answers. Ready? Okay. So these are the answers. If you, if you got them all right, that's great. But if you made a mistake or a few mistakes, that's okay. Just go back and practice again. Okay, now we know how to wear a cloth face covering. Stay tuned for more videos and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank okay. you. Bye. Stay safe.